Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah. welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. Today I'm gonna to do a quick and easy project using Chalk Couture's reusable board and base. This is the white board with their wood base. It comes in this color, so you can paint it if you'd like to. And I'm gonna be using their Transfer Vacation Home Body. I think this would make a really cute sign to put in, in your office or on your desk or at home make a wreath sign, whatever you like to do with it. Vacation, it's something the person reading this right now needs, always over way too soon. How true is that? And then you've got homebody, a person who enjoys the warmth and simple pleasures of being at home. I'm a homebody. I don't want to go out. Just come over and I'll make you dinner. I think I'm more of the homebody type person, but there are some days it's like, just take me away. I need a vacation. I think a lot of us can relate to that. So depending on your mood, you can just flip your sign around. So um, I also have a piece of the, the envelopes that they sometimes ship their, their transfers in. I, I guess they call them little mailers. Anyhow, I cut off a piece of it and I've already pre-waxed it to save some time with their surface wax. So, and I'm going to use that on part of this, but I'll get to that when that time comes. Be using the color Lakeshore Blue and eucalyptus. So I'm gonna get started here. This is the fuzzing cloth. Now if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a piece of fabric, something that is gonna take some of the stickiness off of your transfer. These transfers are reusable. Now if you, I will explain the process if you uh, return viewer, thank you. And um, you can just fast forward through this if you're familiar with how this works. Now I've already scored these. All right, it, it's, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet, a size transfer, or size B transfer. So there was a white line there, you can cut it if you want to. I just took my scissors and I scored through that silk screen, that way I can keep it on the same sheet. That's totally up to you on how you wanna do that. I've already marked the back of it so I know which side goes where, in which direction, because I don't always score it even. And your transfer also comes in this plastic sleeve. Keep this for storage. And it also has instructions on here for you. All right. So you want to keep these two for later on for storage. And what you do is you just fuzz these a few times. I pre-fuzz this about three or four times just to save a little bit of time here. But it's just to remove some of that stickiness off your transfer. So that way it does not stick too well to your surface to where when you go to pull it up, you could stretch and distort your silk screen. So this board and base here, all right, as you can see, it has some depth to it. And like it comes in this brown color. You can paint this if you want to. That's totally up to you. I'm just leaving mine as is. Now they have this also with a blackboard or you have the white one. So I'm using the white one right now, but you can use either color if you want. I will have an editable shopping cart link. So if you, you know, you want to add things, subtract things, you can. Well, I'm not gonna use this one first. I'm gonna do the vacation one first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave my board inside that base because it has some depth and that is so that way I do not hide any of my, my design. You know, if I put it too low, then it, the part of the base could hide it. Now you are welcome to measure. I kind of eyeball things for the most part. So, I mean, you want to do that, you can. I've got that on there where I, I like it, and so I'm going to remove, remove my base there. And I'm just smoothing this over with my hands just to make sure I don't have any little lumps and bumps or little fuzzies back there or any air bubbles. All right. Now I'm going to be using Lakeshore Blue for the vacation. I thought that would be nice. Usually you think of vacation, you know, you think of blues, the water. But you can choose whatever colors you want. Like I said, that shopping cart link is editable if you'd like to get any of these colors or you want to just switch it out and you want to get paste packets or if you, you know, are a different color. You are welcome to do that. All right, this is a mini squeegee. It has uh, a bevel edge to it. I just put some of my paste on there. And then you just generously apply it to your transfer. And that's the way you know you have good coverage. All right, you can scrape off the excess, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Now, you could do this in separate colors if you want. You want to do vacation in black. You want to do the wording in gray. Do it all one color. But all one color, it's pretty much a one and done, and it goes much quicker. But 
you are in control of how you want your art project and your sign to look. Now I scraped off the excess onto the side of the jar and then with that same bevel edge I'm going to go over my transfer and scrape off that excess paste that way I know I have good even coverage. Okay, now it is time for the peel and reveal. And, oh, there's my squirt bottle. Okay. Start at the corners, and then what I do is I slowly lift up. So that way if I miss the spot, I can just lay it back down and touch it up. I love that. Now I have an extra towel sitting over here that I am going to lay my transfer on, sticky side down, and spritz it with some water until I can get it to the sink after I finish this video to clean it. But as soon as you are done with your project, you should take it to your sink and clean it with water and either a a magic eraser or with a one of their board erasers. I'll have also those in the uh, edible shopping cart link. But only use that board eraser on the front part of your transfer. You use it completely over the sticky side. You could remove remove that sticky film. You do not want to do that. If you need to touch it up a little bit in the silk screen on the back side, that's fine. But do not rub your board eraser on the back of the sticky side. You just mm -mm. all right. You can let this air dry. If you want to, and you just have your one sign as is, you could do that. You just want to use that one, you can. And I think it looks nice with the brown wood. But I'm going to try to move things along here and get that dry so I can do the other side. So if you want to just turn it around or make a different sign and you can flip it, you could do that. I don't have my plate, so I'm just going to grab a tissue here and lay my other squeegee down. So I've just got my little drying tool. If you've got a hair dryer or something, you can do that. Just try to speed things along because I want to use the other side. I like that color. It is a beautiful color. It is called Lakeshore Blue. Or just Lakeshore. I've got to look at the back of it again. Hold on. Yeah, just it's just called Lakeshore. Okay, let's see if this is dry. Yes, that's good and dry. Now I'm going to flip my sign on the other side. This is double-sided. Another thing I like about this is you could also, if you have a design you want to use vertical, you know, up and down, you could do that. Now, oh, i got to put this back in my base. Now, this one, why well, I have this little piece of waxed um, cardboard from the envelope I received my order in because this will not fit completely on there. Hold on a second, I got a little fuzzy. I want to get that peeled off if I can. Sorry, my sinuses are. <laughs> Allergies are bothering me. The grass was just cut not too long ago, and now I've um, got my little sniffles going on. Alright, I think I got it. I can't quite tell. Yes, it looks like I did. All right, because it will, I don't think, I think it will hide some of it. See? Yeah, it's going to hide that bottom portion, and I don't want that. So, that's why I'm doing a separate section. Like I said, you can measure if you want to. But I'm trying to kind of center this a little bit, because this part I'm going to do on that separate piece. All right, I'm going to smooth this over. Now this part, bottom portion right here, let's see if I can enlarge that. This bottom portion right here, I'm not going to be pasting. I'm going to do that on a separate section. So if you're worried that you might forget, just go ahead and they have some um, placement tape, or if you have some painter's tape, just tape over it until you're done with your project. 
you know, pasting. All right, that looks like I've got that smooth on. I don't think you need it that close. All right, in this side, I'm going to use eucalyptus. I thought that was a nice kind of um, relaxing color. So this is called eucalyptus. Like I said, you can use whatever colors you would like to use that Chalk Couture offers. All right. Sure, I've got that down good. There's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Same process. Isn't that a gorgeous color? I like this color. And I'm just spreading this on here. That way I know I have good coverage. All right, you gotta remember, I'm not gonna do that portion. I almost I almost messed up there and, and did it, but not doing that. Okay. Didn't get all my S, there we go. Now I'm gonna scrape off the excess. On my squeegee. Now I'm going to go back over the transfer and scrape off any excess that I have on here. That way I have good coverage. Excuse me. Now it is time to peel and reveal. You just slowly peel it up. That way if you missed a spot, you can just lay it down and touch it up. I like that. Now I'm going to set this aside to let it dry a little bit while I do the bottom portion. Like I said, you can measure if you want to. I just kind of eyeball things. Now how I did this piece of uh, this little cutout here, I just put it on the back of, okay, I'm just here. Here's a piece of that envelope. I did it on the reverse side. I traced the outline of it, and then I cut it. So that way I don't see any pen marks on the outside. And I can always trim off any extra off of this after I get this pasted on here. So I'm going to take my squeegee. Make sure I've got good coverage there. Scrape off the excess. And we're going to peel this up. Now I've pre-waxed this, okay, with their surface wax. Otherwise, it would have stuck. If you are going to put these on any type of porous surface, you know, like um, when I say porous, like paper or anything like that, be sure to use the surface wax. And it's really easy. You just take some of the wax. You take, um, just get a cloth, get it in there. Rub it on your surface, and then you want to buff. Then take another portion and just buff it till it is smooth, and you will have a sheen like that before you apply your paste or your transfer. Most definitely your transfer, because your transfer will stick to just to paper and cardstock and things like that. You need definitely need to wax it. All right, so I'm going to. Use my little dryer here. Make sure this is good and dry. Okay, let's see if this is dry. Yeah, that feels like it's dry. All right. So I have vacation on this side, and then this side, this is from a different project when um, 
uh, March's, I believe March, or no, it was April's Club where they had the farm. And I use those glue dots, the removable glue dots. And I just, I just leave this on there to show you these are removable glue dots. I love that. Now, like I said, I cut it to fit this entire part of the sign, but I don't, I think I would like a little bit of the brown showing from the base. So all I'm going to do is just take my scissors and I'm just going to cut some of this off. And it might be a little crooked. That's okay. Like I said, you can measure if you want to. Yeah, see, it's a little crooked, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Gives it some personality. All right, and now I'm going to show you these glue dots. Now, I got these at a the craft store. I believe it was Michael's I got these from. Um, I'm going to leave it up there so that way if you want to take a little screenshot or you want to take notes. These are the half inch size, and these are removable. All right. Pretty easy to use. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to, do I just want to do one or two? You know what? I think I'm just going to do the one in the middle. And I don't know if you can see that or not. There's, no, it's kind of hard to see. You just see a piece of paper. All right. You just take your glue dot, you press it down. It's got its little backer sheet. What you need to do is you need to rub it a little bit. So that way it will release better from the piece of paper that it is on. Like that. Now you can see it. And then all you need to do is just press it down. And there you go. I think that is absolutely adorable. And then when you're in vacation mode, you flip it over to vacation. I hope you enjoyed this project and uh, this gave you some inspiration and some ideas. You might want to do too. It kind of moves a little bit. But something you can do with that vacation home body transfer. Thank you so much for watching and you enjoy your day.